got two years of eligibility left. Mm -hmm. play out. I assume that you're you're coming back. I know you graduated in May. Yeah, yeah, I'll be back next year for sure. What what do you what's your potential for growth? What do you see that you need to work on? Yeah, um, <clears throat> there's a lot of areas that I kind of found myself struggling this year. It was, um, and I mean any of the coaches will tell you this, just kind of getting bigger and keeping getting stronger, um, being able to hold my own. I feel like I do a decent job, um, you know, with my technique and stuff like that. But just having a little bit extra weight on me um, would help a lot, just kind of playing in the box more. And um, good weight, obviously, still being able to run run routes and, and catch the ball well. But um, just adding some good weight this offseason. Eric and Brent. So where have you, do you feel like you've, you've made the most strides this year, kind of coming into a new offense from yeah. spring to now? Yeah, um, <clears throat> I think I made a big jump in just my confidence and my, my abilities and um, the way that I'm able to play on the field. Um, I think I did a good job, you know, mentally this year, kind of taking in all the different things that, that they asked tight ends to do. Um, me and Princeton have both, I really feel like, made big strides there, um, being able to recognize a signal, um, get lined up and kind of help other guys, you know, if somebody's lined up in the wrong area, kind of being a leader and being, being a commander out there. So. Coach Go was, was here, I guess, last week. We talked about how big of a jump this offense mm -hmm. you guys can make from year one to year two. How big of a jump do you think you can make personally, you know, by having a year of this offense under your belt? And at the same time, how hard is it to, to figure out what they're doing and, and, and get get a grasp of, of the playing that fast and understanding everything you're supposed to understand? Yeah, um, I think it's just like anything, honestly. <clears throat> the second year is going to be – much easier just because you don't have to work out all the little kinks. You don't have to. You don't have to experience those things that you go through. You're like, oh wow, that's that was wrong. Like I shouldn't have done that, or maybe, um, you know, I learned now that I can't do this or that to to get myself ready for a game. I guess on Saturday, they call it the process, right? So it's you know your Monday through Friday, whatever. Um, now having a better understanding of that process, um, we'll have. I think we'll, it'll just be more productive early on. I think is, is kind of what I'm getting at. You won't have that lag that you have in the beginning of the season where you kind of, you know, are trying to get your feet underneath you. And, um, yeah, we'll have a full spring. Already everybody knowing the plays, just having to teach the young guys that come in. So. Ben and Patrick. Jacob, just what's the, the working dynamic between you and Princeton mm -hmm. and just how much have you been in his ear about making sure he comes back and kind of joins you next year? Yeah. Um, <clears throat> I mean, I think we both really enjoy playing with each other and playing alongside each other. And I think it's unique the way that, that we operate here is because <clears throat> we truly split like um, each series that we go in there. You know, you'll see one of us in there and then the next time we're out there, it'll be the other one. And um, I'm really grateful for him because he's been great throughout the whole thing, not trying to be selfish about any reps. And he like he knows that, you know, if he's out there and he scores a touchdown or something, I. I mean, if you watch, I'm literally the first one running down there to help to celebrate with him because I know he'd do it for me. So, um, just been blessed and lucky to have have a good guy to be alongside. And um, you know, I think just that <clears throat> that relationship is what you know would hopefully keep him to, to come play with us next year. Jacob, in terms of the role that you guys played at this tight end, was mm -hmm. it what you expected? Was there anything different from what maybe they explained to you or what you thought coming into the season? I mean, yeah, it's pretty similar to what I expected. Um, <clears throat> They talked about, you know, being the moving piece and having to, to <clears throat> adjust our alignments based on the call and, you know, flipping sides and, you know, changing our alignments within the core. And, um, you know, they told us that it was going to be, you know, an adjustment and kind of a learning curve. But I think that we all picked picked up on it pretty pretty quickly. When did you kind of feel it sort of clicked into place with you understanding what you needed to do? Yeah. Um, after each game, obviously, they, they'll grade it. They'll grade it and break it down and kind of <clears> – <throat> you can kind of look at a number and be able to see something that will tell you how, how well you did, I guess. And, you know, after the first few games, my, my grades started going up. Me and Princeton, like, we would see up on the screen that we're grading out high, much higher than we, you know, maybe we're expecting. And you're like, wow, like, okay, I, I played I played much better than I thought. And I, you know, that didn't look as bad as I thought it did. So <clears throat> just seeing that and having that confidence to keep to keep going and try to keep pushing that grade up, I guess, each week. We'll go to the back and Rick. Jay, the familiarity of having a hand and comeback. What does that mean for you in the Cincinnati offense? Yeah, I mean, obviously that's huge. Um, I think that was the biggest question mark for our team um, in that little period of time whenever he was trying to decide what he wanted to do. Um, and I had this conversation last night, actually, how, you know, 
Joe is one of the most talented quarterbacks I think I've ever seen, like physically, like mentally. He's just he's a great competitor, and I'm just excited that we're going to continue to have that depth at that position to where we can kind of trust both guys to roll in there and, and play. But I mean, yeah, Hendon coming back is obviously huge for for this program and for me personally because he likes to throw the ball to me. So you know, <laughs> so I'm I'm happy for that. Eric and Ben. <coughs> So uh, for you, not necessarily individually, but for the offense uh, overall, when did mm-hmm. you guys kind of hit that stride and kind of feel good about the offense you were running this season? And then how much better did you guys get from one year to next year? Um, when did we hit our stride? I don't know. I think – I don't know. Dude, it's a blur, I'm being honest. Uh, but there's like the few games there, right, where <clears throat> we play, you know, the first little bit of Georgia, play them tight. Um, we're winning, winning a few games. We play Ole Miss really tight. You know, we're going into Alabama thinking like, okay, we got some confidence. I think it's, it's the ability to see these people that everybody's talking about, right? And being able to go out there and strap it up with them, and <clears throat> and be able to operate and understand that the the reasons, not the reasons, but um, some of the things that played into those games were were self inflicted, and that's the reason that we didn't have as much success as we feel like we could have. Um, and so knowing that, like that gives you the most confidence in the world. That helps you hit your stride, like you said. Um, kind of just keep the ball rolling. And I don't know, it just goes into the next season too. Now seeing what we were able to do in the first year of this system and just understanding that it's only going to be better next year after we have a full off season to prepare. Finish with Ben. With Miles, how would you describe this game to somebody who hasn't seen him play? Just how much have you seen him grow since he arrived on campus? Yeah, I mean, Miles is a guy like I would love to have the twitch that Miles has. I would love to have that like just pure athletic ability. Um, he plays hard, like he's not not a scared player. You know, he's gonna get physical. He's not obviously. I'll probably see in the stats. He's not the biggest guy, like just physically, but <clears throat> I think he plays bigger than he is once he learns how to how to you know have balance when he's coming through blocks and doing all these other different things. Like I think he's gonna be a very a very good part of, of this unit because um, he can catch the ball super like really well, runs great routes, um, all that stuff. So once he just gets more of a feel, like it's just grow, growing up and, and playing and playing better ball getting a feel for defenses, getting a feel for the fronts and how people play and stuff. He'll be he'll be very productive. Thanks, Jake. Yep.